Good morning, everybody. It's Friday. Let's get right off with um, Josh, who's going to deliver our news for us this morning. On Wednesday, President Trump refuses to give direct answer on whether or not he will transfer power peacefully after the November election. Instead of Trump continues his claim about the mail-out bailouts are likely to produce delayed, tanned, illegitimate election results without use of any evidence. His refusal to give straight answers is a continuous claims he made before, like the 2016 when he warned election may be stolen from him. Even afterwards, Trump falsely insisted that he had only one popular vote in opponent, Hillary Clinton, because millions of immigrant eligible to vote in the bailout for her. Democratic President candidate Joe Biden leads the polls in the states of Nevada, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, according to the voter surveys. All of these states' voters disapproved of Trump's job being president. Pluralities say that Biden has more control on a plan about coronavirus. Across the U.S., Biden's support mainly to come for women, non-whites, and voters that are under the age of 35 or over the age of 65 and older. In particular, seniors trust Biden to do better in handling the coronavirus that Trump and they believe that he will be a better president. FM Corona. On September 24th, a Fayetteville Elementary School teacher was tested positive for coronavirus. The school will be closed Friday as a result. Teachers will still be able to come to school to teach students remotely. The Fayetteville Manly Superintendent predicts the school will return to its previous hybrid learning model on Tuesday. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The deadline for turning in student council, council nomination packets and support signatures has been extended until October 1st. Any questions, please send an email or a Google Hangouts message to Mr. Hart at rhart at esmschools.org. The wait room is reopening on Monday, it already did, with social distancing restrictions. If you want to use the wait room before or after school, you must make a reservation. Walk-ins will not be allowed. Join the wait room, Google Classroom to make reservations or see the rules. The join code is 4RYVWM2. If you have any questions, email Mr. Eschbacher at mEschbacher at esmschools.org. Now, I have been in this school. This is the fifth decade I've been in school, this school. I'm not 50 years old. You'll have to figure out how that's possible. But making her first appearance on weather is Nicole. high of 81 with sunny skies. Saturday and Sunday there will be mixed sun and clouds with highs of 81 and 83. Monday there will be possible showers with a high of 81. Tuesday we will have some possible thunderstorms with a high of 78. Wednesday and Thursday there will be scattered rain showers with highs in the mid to low 60s. I'm Nicole with your weather. Last night, the Los Angeles Lakers beat the Denver Nuggets 114-108 to to take the 3-1 lead in the Western Conference Finals. LeBron James and Anthony Davis combined for 60 points in last night's win. 
In the NFL, the Miami Dolphins beat the Jacksonville Jaguars last night 31-13. to Quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick threw for 160 yards and three touchdown passes for the win. Um, and the boys' varsity golf team has their senior night tonight playing Oswego. Cheer them on from home. <laughs> I'm Isabel Hoyer Sports. Hey, great job. Teleprompter went down if you didn't figure it out. She read that from her phone. Sorry for the delay. Everybody, have a great weekend and unplug for a little bit. Get off those computers and phones and enjoy some apple picking or something. Have a good weekend.